Hello everybody and today I will teach you how to do scratch. So um here this um part of the screen is the stage and here is where all the um code is performed. So first when we click the flag it won't do anything because we haven't told it to do anything yet so first we um should put try so try this so first so if we click it nothing happens that's because we didn't tell it to start doing it so we have to put go to events and then do this this is basically saying when this green flag is clicked do this so put it like that and so it's telling the sprite here to when this green flag is clicked here move 10 steps forward so let's try that yeah and it worked so we can just keep doing that and then we can do it forever, but how do we make our cat go back? We want it to go back, not just keep going forever. So, first, we have to go to motion. And, um, press go to X and Y right there. That means go to a position that is like this one. Like go to this position in here. So the middle of the whole screen is x0 and y is 0. And if you see here, the x and the x position and y position have changed. That's because we have moved it. If you see here, up there, there's a little sign telling you where your sprite is right now. So we want to make it go to the center again and go to zero and zero so um you don't want to put it here because this is what happens it does nothing because it's telling you to go move 10 steps and then go back to the position and this is really fast it goes really very fast so um we don't want that to happen so this time we're going to try putting a control block block that makes and get a repeat block that means repeat the things inside the block how many times um the number is in here so in here it right now says repeat 10 times so um we can put get this motion block and then put it inside the middle of this and then we have to put it here so let's see what happens if we do that it's moved that means it moved 10 times again and again and again and again 10 times so um yeah and this time we're going to make it a bit more look make it look more fun so we're going to put this block back in because um we don't want it to go off the screen and if you put it after this um it will just go out and then come back in so let's see yeah so um i would yeah put it there and don't put it inside the repeat block because it'll just go to the back and then move and then back and then move so we'll see what happens yeah it didn't move it only moved once so we're going to put that at the start before the one green flag clicked and then let's try that and if we press it again, it's going to go to the middle and then start moving again. 
because we told it to go to the middle first before you moved um that many steps. So um you don't have to do this but it looks quite good if you um change like the um looks of it. So go to looks and then you can do maybe change color. So that means it will like change colors. So let's try putting it there. See what happens. Yeah, and it like changes color while it's moving. So it's quite good, but we can't really see the colors turning easily. Yeah, it only lasts for like two seconds. So we're going to try to make it last a bit longer. Let's go to control and see this block here. It means wait one second, one second before doing the next block of code. So we're going to try putting it here in the middle of these so it will change color. Wait one second and then move more, 10 more steps. Yeah, so you can see it's really slow and it's not really good. So we're going to make the second slower. So we're going to try maybe 0 0.3 seconds and see what happens. It's a bit choppy but better than before. So yeah, and then we're going to try putting some sound in our game. So, going to try play sound meow. So maybe here. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's getting a bit long. And if you have a lot of these, it'll get really messy and you won't know where things are. So let's just right click your mouse and then press clean up so yeah and we're going to see what happens if we play the sound meow And we're going to put it here. And so let's see what that does. Okay, that didn't go well. So that only said it once. Because um, until it's done, we never told it to repeat. We only said once. If we put it in here, it'll just keep saying it. And if we put it here, it's going to like do it until the program is finished. So you can tell when it's finished by the here. There's like a red flag and a stop button. I mean a stop um, sign. So um, um, we're going to see how it changes. So first we're going to click the green flag and that basically means start. Yeah, and um, when the cat stopped, when it um, moved 10 steps 10 times and changed color um, 25, 10 times, and waited three seconds then it um stopped and the red button flashed and the green button turned dark so yeah and um so that's all the basic stuff stuff and you can try playing around with it these five here motion effects control sound 
looks and motion. Some of them have quite complicated things like broadcast and um, cloning and um, tempo and uh, uh, um, costume numbers and it does like change it from direction. So yeah, we're going to stop there because it's getting too long. So, see you next time.